Hey, what's up everybody? Andrew here. Today we're looking at a CarPod Go, which is the least expensive way of adding Apple CarPlay or Android Auto to your existing car. Let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing and take a look what's inside. Here you got the additional rear reverse camera. You got the reverse camera, camera cable, and power. It looks like an additional window mount. But I believe CarPod Go recommends using the console fixed mount. This one's your windshield slash dash mount, but I personally prefer the other one. We'll take a look in just a second. And here goes your 3.5 millimeter to Bluetooth adapter. This adapter is designed for people that want Bluetooth connectivity but only have a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. But if you don't have neither, then you're gonna have to settle for the FM transmitter that's built into the T3 Pro. CarPod Go T3 Pro retails for $349. However, you can usually catch it on sale for roughly $249. Check out the video description for $50 off at carpodgo.com and Amazon affiliate links. Thank you. This unit is pretty decked out as well, coming at 8.9 inches with a fully laminated screen. The resolution is 1920 by 720 with an aspect ratio of 16 by 6. You also get 700 nits of screen brightness and it also has a Linux T113 processor. Alright, let's go ahead and do a quick unboxing of this T3 edition. It has this beautiful box here, almost like an iPad. Here is it goes your T3 CarPod Go. Let's put that aside for now and take a look at other items. Wait, it's kind of difficult to take out here. Oh, there we go. Wow, this looks really slick. Let's go and set it aside. Next up, you got your fixed console mount where you'll mount the CarPod T3 right here, and then you put the other section to the dash. Here goes an additional mount, and you got your 9 volt power cord here. You also got a power button here on the top with a USB C power button right there, and additional USB A. Okay, next up, you got your OTG, I guess this is the software update, where you plug in the USB-C in, and then plug in the USB adapter. And you got some adhesive strips right here to mount them. Instruction manuals here showing you how to operate the device. You got some more information here on the back. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get to the main attraction of the show, and this is the CarPod Go T3 Pro Edition. This one features the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto where you can seamlessly connect to your device and put it on the dash and just plug in the power and have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto to go with ease. You don't need any kind of special tools where you have to dig out the existing harness, pull apart the dash, and pull this wire and that wire. This one's just plug and play with ease. It's also lightweight coming in at 397 grams. Alright guys, let's take a look at our mounting options that include inside the box. They say this one's complimentary as this is the windshield mount followed by your fixed console mount, which is the one I'll be using. You also got a second adhesive strip in case you mess up. To set it up, it's pretty easy. Just simply unscrew this one right here, and then you slide the other end of it through. You put that one in first, and then you connect that one, push it down a little bit, and then you lock it in and then secure it. Just line it up. There it is. Just make sure it's lined up. That way you don't want to strip it or damage it. And just like that, you got your mount. But make sure you loosen it up a little bit where you can make it adjustable and just plug in this side and do the same thing. Unscrew this one first. And then slide it in and insert it. And then screw it back on. It is a little bit kind of finicky right here, but you'll get to the point where it makes it smooth. See right now it's very smooth and it bites right on. And then you just lay it on the dash and just adjust it. And then once you have the final adjustment, tighten it up. Next up, let's look at the ports here on the CarPod T3 edition. First up, you got your USB-C, microphone, AVN, aux, and USB-C for power. Here's a quick video of my existing unit on a 2013 Toyota Highlander without Apple CarPlay and just a regular Bluetooth radio with CD player. To power the CarPod Go T3 Pro, simply plug in this 9 volt cigarette lighter adapter and the USB-C into the bag and boom, you're ready. The first thing you want to do is find a mounting point where you're going to lay the T3 edition and let it rest onto the dash. You don't want it hanging from the dash because it causes a lot of strain on the mounts and it can fall off. But once you find your mounting point, screw it on. First you peel out the red adhesive and then lay it down and secure it. And then you want to adjust it. Do your final adjustments here, which angle you want. And then you're going to tighten up the, those two screws and make sure it's secure. See this one? See? You tighten it like that. And once you get your final viewing point, you can go ahead and tighten the other one on the bottom by the dash. See this one? I personally prefer this smaller mount as it's more smaller and compact and very sleek, unlike the big windshield mount, which is kind of big and bulky. And just like that, you got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto ready to go. Now let me show you guys how long it takes to set up the Apple CarPlay unit here. So you can hit Apple CarPlay right here. And this is going to ask you to turn on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on your iPhone and go to Bluetooth. 
and then we can turn on the Bluetooth on your iPhone and then you look for PND right here your name device name is going to be a little bit different on each one and then you select it allow contacts to sync and last step you're going to see allow Apple CarPlay and hit yes so we're going to wait for that pop-up and almost there and boom just like that now you got Apple CarPlay set up on your older vehicle without spending a fortune and you don't have to tear apart the dash and install an aftermarket head unit this just makes it very seamless and easy anyone can do it the CarPod T3 attaches via magnetic here to the stand you see this magnetic clip just simply attach it to the back of the CarPod T3 and just like that you have Apple CarPlay ready to rock and roll that just makes it easy to take apart if you park somewhere and you feel unsafe or you just want to take it down because of the excessive sun and heat whatever floats your boat just take it off and just reattach it when you're ready it just makes it very easy to install I want to talk about the display brightness right quick. I'm in bright sunlight right here as you can see and the screen is very bright. Look how bright this is. They claim 700 nits and I'm pretty sure it's pretty close to that. And I'm not even at maximum. Let's go to 100 and take a look. It just makes it easy to read. Let's compare it to the factory screen. Look how dim and light that is. Guys take a look how beautiful this 8.9 inch screen is. It has a resolution of 1920 by 720 with a 16 by 6 aspect ratio and 16.7 million colors. Look at the resolution, it looks, it looks amazing. Even the SPS is smooth coming at 60 FPS compared to most on the market where it's very jittery and not smooth, not this one. Let's take a look at our settings here. First one here is Android Auto, I mean, pardon me, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We'll test Android Auto later. Let's go to Bluetooth settings. Here you can adjust it, your auto connect and different devices. Brightness, look at your brightness settings here, night shift night view where you can set your different time zones for the night light brightness levels it does have an auto brightness sensor wallpaper you got three different wallpapers to choose let's see what else you got logo here for your manufacturer i'm using toyota but there's plenty to choose from and carplay settings where you got your right hand drive 60 fps mode and 10 second timeout return to carplay let's go down the list here you got your volume Got your volume for your media, navigation, and phone. Audio output, where you got your different settings. Dual Bluetooth here. This is for cars that have Bluetooth, where you want to stream the CarPlay on the device, but use the audio from the speakers on the car only. FM, aux, and then speaker. About, you got your app version and your Bluetooth version. And then we'll go back to system, which shows your language and your date. Right, let's go back here to the main screen. Alright guys, like I said, this is a very nice Apple CarPlay unit or an Android Auto. It just feels very smooth and easy to connect and set up. And the screen is just beautiful, almost retina quality. For those of you that don't have a Bluetooth connection but do have a 3.5mm auxiliary jack, they also sell this optional adapter right here. Simply plug in the USB Bluetooth adapter into your socket right here. And then the other end into your 3.5mm auxiliary port. Simply plug this side in and you're going to wait for the system to boot up. So right now we're connected and they're going to wait for the Bluetooth car stereo to pop up here on the bottom. The passcode is 0000. So if it asks for a password, that'll be your code. So I just selected it and then we're connected. And the next thing you want to do is go to auxiliary input on your main radio. Let me move this out of the way and show you guys here. Go to the audio then go to auxiliary and then you should be connected and ready to stream. And just enjoy the wireless of Bluetooth. Let's test it out real quick. Go to Spotify. Let's go to some no copyright sounds music here. I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube here. Let's test it out. And here goes another method of connecting the CarPod Go T3 Pro to your head unit using the FM transmitter, where you're going to use 89.3 for reference. Select FM and make sure 89.3 is selected. Make sure the station you're choosing is not in use and make sure 89.3 is on both units. FYI, using the FM transmitter method, the audio sound quality is not the greatest. The best is Bluetooth and then Bluetooth to AUX. The CarPod Go T3 also supports Android Auto, but to me personally, it feels very lacking in comparison to Apple CarPlay. They just need to work out the UI here as it looks very plain and simple and just not very intuitive. The T3 Pro also supports this reverse camera here. They sell for $16, but I already have a reverse camera, so I'm going to bypass that. FYI, if you do install it, it is kind of complex install. You do have to tap into the reverse light and power. So we're going to do a quick boot up test now and see how long it takes to connect to everything and boot up. 
And we're we're on. So they claim six seconds. So let's see if that's true. And it looks like the car pod go is T3 Pro is ready to go in six seconds. Wow, that's impressive. My main unit is still booting up with the Toyota logo and it's still going. Let's see what happens. So main boot up to Apple CarPlay connection is about 12 to 13 seconds, give or take. And the main head unit is still booting up. So let's go ahead and launch Spotify and see if it'll work. I believe we have to wait for the main head unit to power up here in order to have everything to start playing automatically. Given this is a 2013, this delay is kind of expected. Depending on your vehicle type and model, it may be faster or slower. But hey, given how easy this installation was, I can deal with this delay. And I think we're almost ready here. Overall, it took around 45 to 47 seconds. So I would I would say that's not fast, but it's not long either. I can deal with that given the how easy this installation was, like I said earlier. But look at this. You can even control the volume and skip the tracks. This is literally the best plug and play option if you want Apple CarPlay and Android Auto experience, like I said, without tearing apart your dash and spending a lot of money. Alright guys, let's go ahead and wrap up this review here. The CarPod Go T3 Pro retails for around $249 if you catch it on sale. This offers a very seamless and very easy installation to, that you can add Apple CarPlay and Android Auto to basically any vehicle you own. It just makes it so easy, anyone can do it. This is a highly recommended unit. The in-plane switching screen offers excellent viewing angles, beautiful retina-like quality colors and text. This just offers an incredible package for the money. Yes, there are cheaper alternatives on the market, but it doesn't have this high refresh rate screen and the smooth experience. Alright guys, thanks for watching and comment and subscribe.